Ancient Iberia, a melting pot of trade. The Iberian Peninsula, home to modern-day Spain, has been a crossroads of civilizations for millennia. Its strategic location made it a focal point for various ancient cultures, each leaving an indelible mark on the region's history and development. Long before the Romans, ancient peoples like the Phoenicians, Greeks and Carthaginians established vibrant trading posts along the Spanish coast. These early settlers were drawn by the peninsula's rich natural resources and its prime position for maritime trade. These seafaring civilizations recognized the strategic location of the peninsula. It served as a crucial link between the Mediterranean and the Atlantic, facilitating the exchange of goods, ideas and cultures. It was a gateway between the Mediterranean and the Atlantic, allowing for the flow of commerce and cultural exchange. This unique position made Iberia a melting pot of diverse influences. The Phoenicians, renowned for their maritime prowess, established trading colonies like Gadir, modern-day Cadiz, around the 9th century BCE. These colonies became bustling centers of trade and cultural interaction. They introduced viticulture, the cultivation of grapes for winemaking, which thrived in the Spanish climate. This agricultural innovation had a lasting impact on the region's economy and culture. The Greeks followed, founding settlements like Emporion or Empuries in the 6th century BCE and engaging in trade with the local Iberian tribes. Their presence further enriched the cultural tapestry of the peninsula. They exchanged olive oil, wine, and pottery for valuable metals like silver and tin, abundant in the Iberian peninsula. These trade goods were highly prized and facilitated economic growth. The Carthaginians, based in North Africa, emerged as a dominant power in the Western Mediterranean. Their influence extended into Iberia, where they established a significant presence. They established a significant presence in Iberia in the 3rd century BCE, using it as a base for their wars against Rome. Their military campaigns left a lasting legacy on the region. The Carthaginians further developed mining operations in Spain, extracting silver, gold, and other minerals, which contributed to their economic and military might. These resources were crucial for their war efforts and economic stability. These ancient civilizations, through their trade networks and resource extraction, laid the groundwork for Spain's future economic development. Their legacy is still evident in the rich cultural and historical heritage of the region. The Roman conquest of the Iberian Peninsula, completed in the 1st century BCE, marked a significant turning point in Spain's economic history. This conquest was not just a military victory, but a catalyst for profound changes that would shape the region for centuries. The Romans, renowned for their administrative efficiency and ambitious infrastructure projects, brought about significant transformations. Their meticulous planning and organizational skills laid the foundation for a new era of prosperity. They integrated the peninsula into their vast empire, connecting it with a sophisticated network of roads, aqueducts, and cities. These connections were crucial for the movement of goods, people, and ideas, fostering a sense of unity and shared purpose. This integration facilitated trade and communication, fostering economic growth and cultural exchange. Markets thrived and merchants from different parts of the empire converged, bringing with them diverse goods and knowledge. Roman engineers constructed impressive infrastructure projects including the iconic aqueduct of Segovia and the Alcantara Bridge, which still stand today as testaments to their engineering prowess. These structures were marvels of their time showcasing advanced techniques and materials. These structures not only served practical purposes but also symbolized Roman power and influence. They were a constant reminder of the might and sophistication of the Roman Empire, inspiring awe and respect among the local population. The Romans also developed Spain's mining industry, extracting vast quantities of gold, silver, tin, and lead. These resources were vital for the empire's economy, funding military campaigns and public works. These minerals, transported across the empire, enriched Rome and fueled its economy. The wealth generated from mining operations contributed to the empire's stability and expansion. Agriculture flourished under Roman rule benefiting from the introduction of new techniques and crops. The Romans introduced new crops like olives and grapes and improved irrigation techniques, boosting agricultural productivity. These innovations ensured a steady supply of food and raw materials. Spain became a major supplier of grain, olive oil, and wine to the Roman Empire. These products were highly valued and traded extensively, contributing to the region's wealth. 
this agricultural surplus supported a growing population and urbanization. Cities expanded and new settlements emerged, reflecting the prosperity and stability brought by Roman rule. The Romanization of Hispania, as the peninsula was known, led to the widespread adoption of Roman law, language, and customs, creating a more unified and prosperous society. This cultural integration laid the groundwork for the region's future development and legacy. The decline of the Roman Empire in the 5th century CE ushered in a period of instability and fragmentation in Europe. Germanic tribes, including the Visigoths, migrated across the continent, eventually establishing their kingdom in Spain. The Visigothic rule, while significant politically, had a less transformative impact on Spain's economy compared to the Romans. The Visigoths, primarily a warrior aristocracy, were less interested in large-scale infrastructure projects or trade. However, the Visigoths did adopt Roman law and customs to some extent, providing a degree of continuity. Agriculture remained the backbone of the economy, with large estates controlled by the Visigothic nobility. The Visigothic period also saw the rise of Christianity as the dominant religion, which influenced social and cultural life. In the 8th century CE, the Islamic conquest of Spain ushered in a new era. The Umayyad Caliphate, based in Damascus, swept across North Africa, conquering the Visigothic kingdom in Spain. The Muslim rulers known as Moors brought with them their culture, language, and economic practices. They introduced new crops such as sugarcane, rice, and citrus fruits transforming agriculture in southern Spain. Section 4. Reconquista and the New World, Gold, Silver, and Transformation. The Christian reconquest of Spain, known as the Reconquista, spanned over seven centuries from the 8th to the 15th centuries. This prolonged struggle between Christian kingdoms in the north and Muslim kingdoms in the south shaped the political and economic landscape of Spain. As Christian kingdoms gradually retook territory, they established new institutions and encouraged agricultural development. The discovery of the Americas in the late 15th century and the subsequent Spanish colonization had a profound impact on Spain's economy. The influx of vast quantities of gold and silver from the New World fueled Spanish ambitions but also led to economic distortions. Spain became the wealthiest and most powerful nation in Europe, but this wealth came at a cost. The Spanish monarchy, flush with American treasure, engaged in costly wars and expeditions, neglecting domestic industries. The influx of gold and silver led to inflation, undermining the competitiveness of Spanish goods. Moreover, the expulsion of Jews and Moriscos, Muslims who had converted to Christianity, deprived Spain of skilled artisans and merchants, further weakening the economy. Section 5. Bourbon Reforms – A Last Attempt to Modernize The 18th century witnessed a series of reforms known as the Bourbon Reforms, implemented by the Bourbon dynasty that ruled Spain. These reforms were a comprehensive effort to rejuvenate the Spanish state and its vast empire. These reforms aimed to modernize the Spanish state and economy, which had stagnated under the Habsburg dynasty. The Habsburgs had left Spain in a state of economic decline, with outdated administrative practices and inefficient governance. The Bourbons, influenced by Enlightenment ideas, sought to centralize power, improve administration, and promote economic development. They believed that a more centralized and efficient government could better manage the empire's resources and stimulate growth. One of the key aspects of the Bourbon reforms was the restructuring of the Spanish Empire. This involved reorganizing the administrative divisions to create a more streamlined and effective governance structure. The Bourbons implemented the intendant system, dividing the empire into intendancies, each headed by an intendant, a royal official appointed by the crown. This system was designed to enhance royal authority and ensure that the crown had direct control over its territories. This system aimed to increase royal control over the colonies and improve tax collection. By having more direct oversight, the Bourbons hoped to reduce corruption and increase revenue from their overseas possessions. The Bourbons also promoted trade and industry, establishing royal factories and encouraging the development of manufacturing. They sought to reduce Spain's reliance on foreign goods and boost domestic production. However, the Bourbon reforms faced resistance from vested interests, including the church and the nobility, who benefited from the existing system. These groups were reluctant to give up their privileges and power, leading to significant opposition. 
Moreover, the Napoleonic Wars in the early 19th century disrupted Spain's economy and led to the loss of its American colonies. The wars drained Spain's resources and weakened its ability to maintain control over its empire. Spain's failure to fully modernize and industrialize during this period left it lagging behind other European powers. While other nations were rapidly advancing, Spain struggled to keep pace, resulting in long-term economic and political challenges. Section 6. Industrial Revolution Bypassed. Spain's 19th century struggle. The 19th century was a period of profound economic transformation in Europe, marked by the Industrial Revolution. However, Spain largely missed out on this wave of industrialization. Several factors contributed to Spain's industrial lag. The Napoleonic Wars had devastated the Spanish economy, disrupting trade and destroying infrastructure. Political instability, with frequent changes in government and uprisings, created an unfavorable climate for investment. Moreover, Spain lacked a strong entrepreneurial class and a skilled workforce. The education system was inadequate, and traditional attitudes hindered innovation. Spain's reliance on its colonies which had provided a steady stream of wealth for centuries also discouraged industrial development. The loss of its American colonies in the early 19th century further weakened Spain's economy. Despite these challenges there were some attempts at industrialization in Catalonia, particularly in the textile industry. However these efforts were limited in scope and could not compensate for Spain's overall economic backwardness. The 19th century was a period of relative decline for Spain as it struggled to keep pace with its European neighbors.